welcome all uh, this video is all about uh, discussing how to install uh, flutter and uh, data sdk on your android studio development environment so uh, these two sdks or these two plugins are very much essential to create a flutter application uh, what i want to show here is um, how um, if you go to file and new if you want to create a new project for now what i have is only android projects template are being shown. I am not able to see any create a new Flutter application. So after installing Flutter plugin, we will have one more option here that is a create new Flutter project. So for installing Flutter plugin, you go to file and you can go to settings. Uh, inside settings, you can search for plugins. So uh, there are two tabs at the top of the settings, uh, plugin settings. So you can go to marketplace. Here in the marketplace, you can search uh, the plugin by name Flutter. So here it is. Uh, it, has, it has been downloaded by 5.7 million people, and uh, the current version of Flutter plugin is 4.3. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, install this Flutter plugin. So additionally, it was as it is asking uh, Flutter plugin requires Dart plugin to be installed. There is a dependency between Flutter and Dart because. Um, Dart is a programming language for Flutter. Flutter is a framework, Dart is a programming language, so Flutter is dependent on Dart. We need to install both these plugins. So we will install these two plugins and uh, we will check what are the plugins we have installed already. Here you see Dart and Flutter, both of these plugins have been installed. So what it is asking in order to make this plugin to work properly, we need to restart our IDE. Let me choose uh, Restart IDE. So it is. it will restart IDE for me and uh, it will start IDE once the restart is complete. So my Android Studio is um, started again. After the restart, uh, what I'm expecting is I should be able to see start. If I go to file, new, uh, I should be able to see new Flutter project that verifies the installation of a Flutter and Dart plugin. So it will take some time to load. Okay. So now my today started. So let me go to um, some interesting task is going on in the background. I think it is not uh, does not affect. Um, if I go to file and um, new Flutter project, but uh, let us wait for install indexing task to finish. Now the indexing task is completed. Go to file. Go to new. Here you can see new Flutter project. Yes, um, we have installed Flutter plugin properly. If I click on new Flutter project, it is asking us to select any one of the Flutter project I want to create. So we will. There are multiple kind of Flutter project we can create. One is Flutter application, Flutter plugin, Flutter package, Flutter, Flutter module. So we will go with a Flutter application. So click on next. It will ask you to create a Flutter project. So in the Flutter project name, it is Flutter underscore app, and make sure that uh, all the names, uh, all the letters in the Flutter project name should be small letter, and there should not be space in between the words of the project name. And you can of course use um, Flutter um, the underscore for the project name, and uh, it is asking us to look at the Flutter SDK path. Uh, this Flutter SDK we have downloaded in C and source. Uh, we have this is the Flutter SDK we have. So on the project location where exactly this uh, project uh, gets stored um, and the uh, description if you want to add any other uh, description also you can create. So let me go ahead and uh, you, can, you can check what is the package name. Package name is uh, just, uh, uh, it is uh, very much important for if you want to host your application on Play Store, this will identify your application. So if you have a website, uh, you can give my website is com.rectopage.com. So this is this needs to be unique and if you want to add a Kotlin support also you can add include a Swift support for iOS code that is of course needed the basic purpose of Flutter application is to create um, the application which runs on multiple platform that is uh, both Android and iOS. So uh, you can depending on your project requirement if you want to add a Kotlin support that is also supported but uh, for now and for my purpose I don't want to add a Kotlin support then I, let me click on finish. Once uh, the finish button is pressed, uh, the tasks will compile in the background because this is my first Flutter, Flutter application. Um, it will take uh, quite some time to finish um, 
uh, all configuration here it is asking whether to open the flutter or new flutter project in the same window or needs to be opened in the different window so let me choose this window because already most of the components of this android studio window has been loaded it wouldn't take much time so let me go with this window uh, the flutter project is starting in the background you can see this is my new flutter project and um, about this code what is the default setting what are the what is the project hierarchy which is uh, which we are able to see in this window where my cursor is uh, let me walk you through all this uh, and corner of um, this flutter application project uh, hierarchy in the upcoming videos thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned